up and burning. Three, two, one, zero, and lift off. A new chapter is about to unfold in the vast expanse of our solar system, where mysteries lie dormant. Amidst the sea of cosmic wonders, a celestial enigma has emerged. A planetary object lurks on the fringes of our solar system like an elusive ghost, teasing the boundaries of our understanding. But this is no ordinary world. This is a new frontier of astronomical proportions. With a diameter dwarfing that of Pluto, this newfound world shatters preconceived notions of our celestial neighborhood. Today, the scientific community stands on the precipice of a groundbreaking discovery that will rewrite the textbooks of astronomy. But what really is this gargantuan object floating in space? And how much could it redefine our place in the cosmos? Join us as we unravel this latest discovery by the James Webb Telescope, a new 10th planet that's bigger than Pluto. While the James Webb Telescope has only been in space for less than half a decade, it's already making astounding discoveries in space that are fast dwarfing discoveries made by other telescopes before it. And this incredibly powerful telescope doesn't seem to be ready to take a break yet, leaving us astonished. Its recent discovery, as it's been recently by NASA, is even more breathtaking. It has detected an exoplanet outside our solar system that resembles Earth. But what astonished scientists at NASA the most was the size of the exoplanet. It is larger than Pluto and nearly the same size as Earth, with a diameter that matches 99% of our own. Intrigued by this finding, John Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory scientists decided to use the JWST to observe the planet further using specific light wavelengths. Mark Clamping, the director of the Astrophysics Division at NASA's headquarters in Washington, commented on this remarkable discovery, stating that it provides an unexpected opportunity to study the atmospheres of rocky planets. The James Webb Telescope is bringing us closer to a new understanding of Earth-like worlds beyond our solar system and this is just the beginning. This team of researchers used the JWST's near-infrared spectrograph instrument to analyze the rocky exoplanet. While they couldn't gather extensive information about its atmosphere, they did observe that it is over 100 degrees warmer than Earth. Ongoing research suggests that if clouds are discovered on the planet, it may resemble Venus more than Earth. The team also discovered that a day on the exoplanet is twice as long as an Earth day. Combined with its scorching temperature of over 100 degrees, researchers believe that it may still possess an atmosphere. While scientists were still delving into the details of this remarkable exoplanet, the James Webb Telescope struck gold once again. In the data, astronomers found evidence of silica-rich clouds enveloping a brown dwarf about 20 times larger than Jupiter. This discovery surprised astronomers and confirmed some previously postulated theories about these enigmatic alien worlds. Brown dwarfs are peculiar objects that don't quite reach the mass required to become stars, but are too massive to be classified as regular planets. Although they cannot burn ordinary hydrogen, they can generate heat and light through deuterium burning, a less common isotope of hydrogen that contains an additional neutron. In the vast expanse of space, this celestial body known as VHS at 125 CB, a peculiar brown dwarf, caught the attention of astronomers. It dances gracefully around two small red dwarf stars, approximately 72 light years from our home planet. This enigmatic entity resides in the Corvus or Crow constellation. Curiously, this alien world had already been discovered by astronomers in 2016, leading to a perplexing situation. Its peculiar reddish glow perplexed scientists, leaving them puzzled. Speculations arose, suggesting that the glow emanated from a unique atmospheric composition. Eventually, these speculations were validated when the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, confirmed their theories. The optical telescope unraveled astounding details. It unveiled that thick clouds veil VHS 1256 B's atmosphere, akin to grains of sand composed of silica. The JDWS also detected a medley of gases within this intriguing world, including carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, water, methane, sodium, and potassium. 
Brittany Miles, an astronomer at the University of California, Irvine, and the lead researcher on this project expressed her excitement over the discoveries. She emphasized that there is still more to unravel through further analysis of the data collected by the JWST. She also recognized that the initial findings aligned with the theoretical expectations. But more interestingly, the research team was especially astounded by the remarkable level of detail provided by the JWST's data. It even disclosed the ratios of various gas components within VHS 1256b's atmosphere. This revelation suggested that the planet's atmosphere is far from being tranquil and static. Sasha Hinckley, an astronomer from the University of Exeter in the UK and a study co-author, highlighted that methane and carbon monoxide exhibit an expected ratio in calm atmospheres. However, in the atmospheres of several exoplanets, this ratio appears skewed, indicating turbulent vertical mixing. It implies that carbon dioxide from deep down is stirred up to blend with higher levels of methane in the atmosphere. And despite its classification as a brown dwarf, VHS 1256b is relatively small, which hints at its youthful nature. The exoplanet gracefully orbits its parental stars, tracing an oval-shaped path that takes a staggering 17,000 years to complete, spanning a distance of 360 times the Earth's distance from the Sun. The discovery of these remarkable details was like a long-awaited dream come true for scientists and astronomers. Now, armed with the confirmation of their theories, Scientists are contemplating a daring mission. They are now considering sending the world's most powerful telescope, the JWST, on a mission to unravel a mysterious phenomenon that has long eluded the grasp of science and astronomy, fueling their passion for exploration and discovery. This would be reminiscent of another exciting discovery that sparked curiosity and speculation among scientists and astronomers in 2015. They had stumbled upon compelling evidence suggesting the existence of a mysterious ninth planet in the outer reaches of our solar system. This enigmatic celestial body became known as Planet X, which added to its intrigue. But what made Planet X so captivating was that no one has actually seen it yet. It remained a theoretical concept, albeit one that has captured the imaginations of scientists worldwide. They are driven by the prospect of unraveling the secrets of this hidden world which is believed to possess a mass approximately 10 times greater than Earth's. Even more astonishing, Planet X is thought to take anywhere from 10,000 to 20,000 years to complete a single orbit around the Sun. The existence of Planet X is inferred from the disturbances it allegedly causes to other celestial objects in its vicinity. Scientists have observed peculiar disruptions in space, indicating the presence of a massive gravitational force exerted by an unidentified ninth planet. This intriguing phenomenon has motivated scientists to solve the riddle of Planet X and unveil its mysteries. To this end, the James Webb Telescope is being prepped by NASA to embark on a quest to uncover the truth about this mysterious planet. But the story of Planet X actually dates back to a much longer time. It found its roots in the year 1846 with the discovery of Neptune, the last known planet at the time. This momentous finding led some to speculate that there might be more worlds beyond Neptune's orbit waiting to be unveiled. Percival Lowell, a prominent 19th century travel writer and businessman, was among those who passionately believed in the existence of a ninth planet within our solar system. Although Lowell didn't live long enough to witness his theory confirmed, he left behind a generous bequest of $1 million in his will. This substantial sum was earmarked to support future missions to locate Planet X, prolonging the enduring quest for this enigmatic celestial body. In the early days, Lowell's observatory dedicated its time to studying the mysteries of the night sky. It was on a chilly evening, precisely on February 18, 1930, when a young and passionate astronomer made an extraordinary observation. While examining two photographs, he stumbled upon an intriguing celestial body that would later be known as Pluto. At that moment, however, this newfound entity was believed to be the enigmatic Planet X. Characterization of what planets outside our solar system might Decades passed, and in 2006, the photograph that initially granted Pluto its planetary status lost that distinction. The heir to the solar system's 10th planet was dethroned. Consequently, the term Planet X transformed into a name given to any undiscovered planet in the vast and uncharted cosmos. 
Yet, there was a brief period when the notion of Planet X was dismissed. It occurred during Voyager 2's flyby near Neptune where unexpected revelations unfolded. The flyby showed that Neptune was marginally lighter than initially anticipated, leading a NASA scientist to question the orbit of the outer planets. Intrigued by this discrepancy, the scientist embarked on a meticulous calculation that ultimately revealed a surprising revelation. The outer planet's orbits were intricately correlated all along. With this discovery, the debate about Planet X abruptly ceased. It became evident that Planet X was neither Pluto nor the dismissed air. The scientific and astronomical community seemingly forgot about Planet X. Years later, Caltech astronomers Vatican and Brown resurrected the discourse surrounding the hypothetical planet. This time, they brought forth detailed computer simulations and mathematical models that shed light on the puzzling orbits of five smaller objects nestled within the distant Kuiper Belt. Their research proposed the existence of a large celestial body, potentially a new planet, as the underlying cause for the unusual paths taken by these smaller objects. This revelation sparked excitement among planetary scientists and astronomy enthusiasts alike. Jim Green, the director of NASA's Planetary Science Division, expressed his enthusiasm, stating that the prospect of a new planet was undeniably captivating. However, he emphasized that this was not yet a confirmed discovery, but rather an early prediction based on limited observations and modeling. The journey had only just begun, and it held the promise of remarkable findings. Not everyone, however, embraced the idea put forth by Vatican and Brown. Physicists Jacob Schultz and James Hanwing proposed an alternative theory. They suggested that a minuscule black hole could be responsible for the disruptive orbits of several rocky objects surrounding Neptune. In their view, this black hole, much like Planet X, might have originated from a distant star system and found itself circling our Sun after a close encounter with our solar system. Unwin and Schultz pointed out the intriguing possibility that a mini black hole could mirror the scenario of Planet X. Three years prior, another theory emerged from the scientific minds at Harvard University. Published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, this theory proposed an alternate explanation for the mysterious phenomena. These scientists speculated that the strange orbits could be attributed to the presence of a tiny black hole. The concept mirrored the previous hypothesis, but added a new layer of understanding to the enigmatic cosmic dance unfolding in our universe. This theory proposes that there could be another planet called Planet X that was once a companion to our Sun. Some other theories suggest that the planet Nibiru, located at the solar system's edge, could be this mysterious Planet X. However, the National Aeronautic and Space Administration NASA, dismisses these claims as internet hoaxes, stating that Nibiru does not exist. Scientists are faced with a dilemma in unraveling the mystery of Planet X. Although they have not yet solved it, they remain hopeful. One optimistic scientist, Mike Brown, believes that Planet X could be discovered within the next year or two. However, he acknowledges that he has made similar statements in the past without success. In 2021, the belief in Planet X was challenged when a group of scientists led by physicist Kevin Napier from the University of Michigan studied the orbits of distant objects in the outer solar system. They found that the disrupted orbits of these objects could be explained without the presence of a nearby planet. They concluded that the perceived clustering of paths was due to selection bias. However, there are differing opinions, and some argue that more data is needed to settle the debate. There is hope that the Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile, which has embarked on a 10-year survey of the sky, will shed light on the existence of Planet X. By observing the orbits of thousands of Kuiper Belt objects, this observatory may provide evidence either supporting or debunking the existence of Planet X. Furthermore, such observations could offer clues about its location and origin. Dr. Harvey Loeb from Harvard suggests that if the Vera C. Rubin Observatory confirms the existence of a ninth planet and discovers a population of similar dwarf planets, it would support the binary model where Planet X had a companion. This would challenge the long-held assumption that our solar system had only one star. While the mystery of Planet X continues, new theories are emerging about how to find it. The James Webb Telescope is also considered a potential tool for detecting this enigmatic planet. However, whether it is truly possible to locate Planet X remains a topic of debate. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.